Hey everyone, so I am here with my top 19 books that I want to focus on for this year. There's obviously 19 books, so let's um, just get right on started. I don't want this video to be super long. Some of these books were in my last video of books that I wanted, had wanted to read last year, but didn't go around to. So yeah, let's get started. First one I have from the pile is like a Gone Girl by Jillian Flynn. Haven't read any of her books yet and I really want to see the movie too still haven't seen it yet but yeah I want to read the book first so definitely on my list for this year and the next one is Monument 14 by Amy Leiborn actually owned the whole trilogy so I want to get to the whole trilogy this year so yeah I'm re really excited for this I know it's like a dystopian type world so I haven't really read a good dystopian book in a while so <laughs> Um, but it's more, I feel like it's more futuristic, more than dystopian, maybe. So, I guess we'll see. Um, the next one is The Storyteller by Joey P. Cole. Um, I know it's about the Holocaust, something about the Holocaust. And I'm really interested in this, so, yes. The next one is The Martian by Andy Rear. I still haven't watched the movie yet. I want to get around to the book first. And I hear a lot of mixed things about it. I, when I do get around to it, I hope I understand the scientific uh, aspect of it. So yes, the next one again is <laughs> was made into a movie too recently, and that is The Girl on the Train by Paul Hawkins. I've been wanting to watch the movie, and I've owned this for over a year, even maybe over two years, and I just really need to get around to it. Uh, my friend Savannah and I might buddy read this this year, so. Yeah, that'll probably be around after the summer, so, yes. Um, the next town, <laughs> next town, the next book, which is the reason why I said town, was Paper Towns by John Green. I actually have multiple John Green books that I need to read. Um, I read The Fault in Our Stars finally, like, two years ago, and I hated that book. So I'm really nervous, but I have watched this movie, and I just thought it was okay. So I'm hoping, I'm gonna give this book a try and hope that I like the book more, so we'll see. The next one is part of a series, and I want to read the whole series this year, and that is a series of Fortune Events by Lemmy Snicket. I own the first nine, then I own books 11 and 12 and 13. Um, so I'm just missing book 10, but I have had owned the first few books for years, and I just need to finally finish it. Um, back in middle school, I think I got to book like seven, and I just never finished, and I really just need to binge read the series so yes definitely top party of the year the next one is room by emmy donahue which i actually already seen the movie and i absolutely loved and i just need to get around to the book and i'm kind of scared to read it but i just need to i need to i love the movie so much so we'll see how this goes the next one i've had on my on my shelf for years and that is From the Mouth of Elijah by Brian Davis. This is a book 2-2 series. And I love the world and stuff. And I just really need to get back and be back into this world and be infested in it. So, yes. Um, it's kind of like a Christian uh, fantasy book. And it has with dragons. And, yes, it's just it's epic. The next one is The Lion Game by Sarah Shepard. And I actually own the whole series. So I want to bench free the whole series this year. Um... They did make a TV show out of this, and they only lasted one season, which was very disappointing because it left on a cliffhanger, but that show was actually really good, and I'm really disappointed, but it's about these twins. I, the book, apparently the books in the TV show were different, but, um, but it's about these twins, Sutton and Emma, who kind of have to find the it's like a, I don't know I know that this book is a little bit different because one of the tw twins is like actually dead where in the tv show she isn't so but it's about like um their adoption and well one of the twins who was adopted and the other one wasn't so yeah anyway um do you want to read the series this year so yes the next one I had meant to read last year was Thousands Spin the Suns by Khaled Hussini had loved the kite runner so I really just need to jump in this I'm not even sure really sure what this is about but I need to the next one is again by Brian Davis and it's again it's the second book two series and then that is third star a uh, star uh, third starlighter and yes it's an adult fantasy so yes the next one is the lock by Steve Elton 
And I all I really know is about this is about uh, the, the Loch Ness Monster. So, and it's kind of, kind of, I think it's like a science fiction mystery. So, really interested in this. So, yes. The next one, again, I have on my shelf for about two years. And that is Marisha Pestle's Night Film, which everybody freaks out about. And I really just need to get around to it. Um, I don't know why it's been on my shelf for ages. I just need to get around to it. Yes, everybody knows what this is about, but it's popular and it's well loved and I just need to get around to it. And the next book, again, I've been on my shelf for the longest time and that is Afterworlds by Scott Westerfield. I just don't know why I haven't read this yet. Probably because I've tried reading the Ugly series like three different times and I just couldn't do it. So I just need to try this one out and see how I feel about it. So yeah. The next one is Three, week, Three Weeks with My Brother by Nicholas and Micah Sparks. Um, this is actually a memoir and one of the only Nicholas Sparks books I haven't read. So, yeah, I think I'm like three or four books behind now. So, yes, I need to get catch up. I need to get caught up. Not catch up. <laughs> caught on. So, anyway, the next one is The Illuminae. Um, by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff, and everybody loves this, this book series, um, so I just need to get on with it. Um, I'm just scared to read it, because if I read it physically, and um, I don't know if I'm going to like enjoy it, because everybody recommends listening to audiobook, so I mean, I guess we'll see, but yes, we'll go and just see how I feel about it.